Number 78. List the following ions in order of increasing radius. And we got Li+, plus, Mg2+, plus, Br-, minus, and Te2-. Minus. All right, so we've done tons of problems now as far as talking about atomic radius, right? Radius just determines how big or how small a atom really is. And the larger the radius, the bigger the atom. The smaller the radius, the smaller the atom. And there's two trends that we should know, right? As we go from left to right from the periodic table, so from left to right across a period, the atomic radius, I'll just put AR for now, atomic radius will decrease. So you start off big, and then as you go across a period, you will get smaller and smaller and smaller. The other trend is going from top to bottom. So from top to bottom, your atomic radius, AR, would actually increase. So you would actually start off small at the top and work your way to bigger and bigger and bigger atoms as you go down the periodic table. We've done tons of problems like this dealing with atomic radius. If you want more in-depth explanations, go check those previous questions, probably around number 70. But for, for now, let's just keep rolling. So here they give us ions, which are charged um, atoms. And let me just circle where they're at. So lithium plus, I'm just going to circle lithium, magnesium, okay, a bromine is over here, and tellurium is right here. Now, I'm trying to find a trend, right? Normally, questions will either give you a straight period or a straight group or kind of give you two at the same time. But as I'm seeing here, there's no period trend technically, right? Because Lithium is in its own period as magnesium, and bromine is in its own period as tellurium. Same thing goes for the groups. Bromine is in its own group, tellurium is in its own group, magnesium is in its own group, and lithium is. So, what? <laughs> Usually they only give you these um, questions as far as radius if they give you charges. And yes, they did. All of these have charges. So there's actually another way of, of solving this question. So you could only use this information if you're given ions. So just know, if you become a positive charge, so basically if you lost electrons, because that's what being positive is, if you lost electrons, if you became positive, you will always, the atom will always get smaller than what it normally was. So memorize that. If you become a cation, that's what being positive is. Cations are the positive ions. Lost electrons, they always become smaller. If you're an anion, which means that you become negative, and that means that you just gained electrons, you will always become bigger. So your atomic radius will always get bigger than what you normally are. And the trend is the more electrons you lost for positive, so the more positive, smaller it is. So for example, if I had a plus two charge versus a plus three charge, the plus three would be smaller out of the two. Same thing goes for the negatives. If you have more negative charge, if you gained more electrons, you will be bigger than the other one. So if you have a negative two versus a negative three, the negative three would be the bigger one. And that's what we have to do here. They gave you a plus one for lithium, a plus two for magnesium, a minus one for bromine, and a minus two for tellurium. That's how we're going to rank these. And we got to rank them from increasing radius. So that means that we should start off small, so the smallest on the left-hand side, the largest on the right-hand side. And remember, smaller ones are positive charge. So between these four, magnesium and lithium would be the smaller of the four. And remember, the more positive, the smaller you are. So which one would be the smallest of them all? The smallest of them all, right? That's from... Uh, Who's that mirror, mirror on the wall? I guess that's Snow White, right? 
But anyway, magnesium would be the smallest because it's a plus two. It lost two electrons as opposed to lithium who only lost one. It's a plus one. So magnesium would be the smallest, Mg2 plus. Then comes lithium, and lithium is a plus. You could say plus one or you could just say plus. doesn't matter. Now we're moving on into the bigger ones, right? And the bigger ones are the ones that are negative. You gained electrons. And the more bigger you are, the more negative you become. So as opposed to a negative one versus a negative two, which one do you think is bigger out of the two of them? Tellurium is because negative two beats out a negative one. So the next one has to be Br minus, and then the largest um, ion is tellurium with a two minus charge. And that's it. Box this answer off. So good to know the trends, but unfortunately these were all mumble jumbled. So there had to be a different way. And especially if they give you ions, especially if they give you charged atoms, use that trend of going from negatives to positives and vice versa. All right. So thanks for coming here, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. If this helped you out, click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, you can click the like as well. Thanks so much, guys. Um, keep studying hard. I'll see you guys in number 79. Bye-bye.